Good morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. How are you? Fine, ma'am. Hi. Did you enjoy your carnival? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. How was it? Good. Good. Okay. So this is our mass period, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we are going to start a new lesson today. Okay. Then what did you learn last week? Do you remember? Yes. Yes. What did you learn? Multiplication. Multiplication. Okay. Multiplication. What in multiplication? What did you learn? You learn, we started multiplication, right? Okay, what did you learn in that? Do you remember? Multiplication is the repeated addition. Okay, very good. Multiplication is the repeated addition. Then what else you learned? What about the properties? Did you remember? Do we remember the properties? Yes, ma'am. Yes. What did you learn? Uh, if we uh, uh, multiply with zero, we uh, we get the answer as zero. Zero. If we multiply zero with any number, we will get zero as the answer. Then second one, if we multiply with one, what do we get? The same number. The same number we will get. Okay. So then what else you learn? One more point you learned, right? Uh, if we change the order of multiplicant uh, and the multiplier, the product will be the same. Okay. If we change the order of the multiplicant and multiplier, the product will be same. Okay. These all things we learned. Now, today we are what we are going to do is see you can see the PPT. Okay, now you can go through the learning objective. So read the learning objective. Learning objective to solve multiplication of two digits by by I uh, one digit. one digit without regrouping. Without regrouping. Then what is your success criteria? I can identify and multiply two digit numbers by one digit number without regrouping. I can derive, derive and express two digit multiplication without regrouping. Okay, good. So, why is multiplication important in our life? If any, uh, if we go to market, uh, we have to pay money. So we have to use multiplication. Yeah, if we are doing big, big uh, the sums and all, that time we need to use multiplication. For in, in our daily life, it is very, very important. Many times we need to add big numbers and all, that time we can use the multiplication as well, right? Okay, good. Now, this link is for recalling the tables okay so you just uh, copy paste this link in google and uh, re revisit the topic multiplication of multiplication tables multiplication table of two three table of five table of ten these all things you have already learned right so these tables you can revise okay i will be giving you five minutes Within five minutes, you can revise this table. Now, I hope you have done that. And after that, we can, before going to do this activity, I will explain how to do the multiplication. Okay, so I'm going to stop this window and I will share the board. Okay. Can you see the board? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Now, the multiplication. How we will do 
two digit number with one digit okay multiplication first whenever we are starting we need to write tens and ones okay t for tens and o for ones right now yeah. the number is 34 the first number i am writing is 34 we need to multiply 34 with the number 2 okay how do we do that number 2 so for doing multiplication first we need to see first two, di two digit number is there that is 34 then 4 is in one place and 3 is in tens place then 2 the only 2 is there so we need to write that 2 in ones place and this number we need to multiply with this second number that is the multiplier right this multiplier we need to multiply with both the numbers and write the answer down the ones place number we need to write in ones place when you get the answer you need to write it in the ones place one space then when you multiply this two with this three that answer should come in tens place so two is multiplied with the four two fours are here we need to use the multiplication table two fours are what two fours are eight eight very good so we can write eight here then Next, we need to move to take next place and we need to multiply this 2 with this 3. 3 2s are 3 2s are 6. six. six. Yeah. Then that 6 we need to write exactly down in tens place. Okay. So what is the answer? 68. 68. Okay. That is right. 68 is the answer. I will show you one more. Okay, tens, twenty-three multiplied with three. Okay, so we need to multiply this three with the ones place three. So three threes are nine. Nine, very good. Then three twos are. Six. Six. So our answer is 69. This is the way we have to do the multiplication. Two digit number with one digit. It is very easy, right? Yeah. You can do it, right? So we can go back to our activity. Now your activity time. See, so you need to do this activity in your notebook. Okay. Solve this questions in your notebook. After completing this, one more activity is there for today. That is, each student has three pencils. If there are 41 students, how many pencils are there in total? The first step, number of students in class. How many students are there? You need 41. to write 41. Very good. Number of pencils each child have. How many pencils each child have? Three. Three. So three you need to write here. Then total number of pencils. How will you find total number of pencils? How will you find? You need to multiply it with the? Uh, multiply. Uh, multiply. You need to multiply. Multiply. Which all numbers you need to multiply? 3 and 41. Five, correct. 41 into 3. So that you need to do here. See here your work. Part okay. Here you need to write 48, 41, sorry, 41, and 3 you need to write here in one's place. Then you can find the uh, find the answer and write the answer here. Okay. This is workplace. You need to do the multiplication here. After doing this multiplication, you need to write this answer here. 
it is clear then once you complete this you can go for self assessment answers are here here you can take the answers okay and after that you need to do the self assessment